Greetings everyone. As always, I would like to start with a brief disclaimer. These videos are meant to help people learn physics. At times, it's meant to provide helpful hints. And at other times, it's meant to take you through the entire problem with hopefully what is a decent explanation so you can solve many others on your own. I try my best not to show the entire answer in any one screen so that the video remains about learning how to solve the problem and is not something simple that can be used as a shortcut to cheat or get ahead. If you're putting up with the sound of my voice, clearly you must want to learn this material. Okay, let's get started. Okay, ignore some junk that I'm just erasing right now. So the problem says there is a earth, but it is one point times five times. So we've got earth and uh, spinning, but the radius is 1.5 that of earth's. But the mass is the same. So what is the acceleration? What's the acceleration due to gravity near the surface? So first, let's just think about how we calculate the acceleration due to gravity on Earth. So the formula for just general gravitation says mass 1 times mass 2 divided by radius, which is just center to center point mass between the two squared uh, and uh, times uh, constants which is that constant is capital G so how does that translate for earth so for earth that would be still be G that would be the radius of earth because how far the object is it's not it's on the planet of the surface of the planet so it's pretty much the radius of the earth squared uh, mass of whatever this object happens to be and mass of earth, right? So given this formula, you can plug in mass one of an object and mass of earth and radius of earth to say, hey, this is the gravitational attraction between the earth and that object. Now, what we're used to seeing is mass times acceleration due to gravity or mass times gravity, right? We're used to seeing one of these two. So how, how do we get, get to this? That's because we oversimplify. We say, okay, think of mass one and take everything else, g, mass of earth, radius of earth squared, take all that because, um, you know, we, when we started out, we didn't have all these clever equations or observations to come up with the detailed formula so we just tried to measure g so really what we know as 9.81 meters per second square g gravity of earth is actually this uh, you know the constant g the mass of earth and the radius of earth squared together these three variables give us 9.81 that's where 9.81 comes from but we measured that in the beginning by just dropping things and seeing how fast they went, you know, dropping things from high places and measuring acceleration from that. So now uh, in this equation, what they're saying is that we have a planet. So one thing you may have noticed is mass doesn't matter. You know, the mass on the surface of the planet doesn't matter to calculate you. They want to know the acceleration due to gravity. Our acceleration due to gravity is g, right? g of Earth is 9.81. Now they're just saying the only difference here is the radius is more. So you still have g. The mass of whatever this new planet is still the same as mass of Earth. It's just the radius is 1.5 times the radius of Earth. Then they square it. And they want to know what this new g prime is. Okay. Um, just... There's an easier way to do this. Um, we want the answer, you know, we can give the answer in terms of G. We can say, well, this is pretty much the same stuff as G. Uh, we're going to take G M E R E squared, right? We're, and we're going to just separate out the 1.5. This is just math. There's nothing clever going on here. And this right here is G, 
right? So that's the same as saying 1.5 square g's, right? So this is how much more or less the gravity of that planet will be. So if you do this, 1 over 1.5 square, if you solve that, it will come out to be and multiply it 4.36 meters per second square. So because this planet has puts a bigger distance between its center and objects on its surface, those objects experience less gravity because they're technically further away from the center of the planet's core. Hope that makes sense. All right, thanks for listening.